Hi, and welcome back to The Restoration. On this fun-filled episode, it's all about the disassembling of that pesky bevel gearbox. But first, I have to tell you, I was just at the races and saw the coolest thing. It was a race between two silkworms. As you probably guessed, it ended up in a tie. <laughs> <laughs> ended up in a tie. That's a good one, Jaster. This bevel gearbox has intimidated me for quite some time, but I decided to take it apart. And now I tried to get the clip off, but then I read the service manual and it says to just press that out to the left. So I did that. And now it's time to get that little ring off and it should just press on out. Now there are a couple of these retaining rings that need to come out of their grooves and I realize that just get them out of the grooves and then press the uh, shaft out of there. Now the shaft started going sideways coming out and you can see it shaved a little bit of that metal off so that's something I need to scrape off and polish down. The guys, I tried and tried for days to get that out of there. Then I had a brainstorm. Why don't I try cold and heat? So I stuck it in the freezer overnight. And yes, guys, I did get caught and scolded by the wife. And took the heat gun, heated up the gear while the shaft was cold. And it worked. And here's the shaft that took me days to figure out how to get out and a lot of struggle. Now that the main shaft is out, it's time to work on the other shaft. Now this key is really stuck in there and I thought I could get it out but no way so I had to start using my head again what in the world can I use to get that off of there well I thought I'll get the uh, whole shaft out and then I'll worry about the key later but it won't come down through there with the key on it so I thought heat the shaft and it should pop out well it didn't so now I thought I gotta press let me see if I can wedge something under there and then it pop out and it worked And there she is, the brand new 40 year old shaft is out. Now it's time to press out the bearing. I know I've said this before that I bought that press just for one thing, but it has absolutely been worth its weight in gold on this project. Ta-da! Bearing. Now I bought new seals, so it's time to get the old seal out of there. Always wear eye protection, kids. Now came the struggle of how do I get that broken gear off the shaft and the, and the bearing. And I thought and I thought and then I said, wow, this is round shaft. That'll fit in the lathe. That can at least be the vise to hold it while I get that nut off of there. A couple of wraps on the hammer and booyah, it came out. And yes, guys, the words were very light taps with that dead blow hammer, so it didn't put a lot of force on the headstock. Now time to put the press on there because I thought it would fall off but it didn't need to be pressed off well the way I was trying to press it out of there I'd have had to remove this clip but then I thought hey and, and yes guys that is blood that that sharp thing you see in my hand there trying to get it off of there I poked myself with it and and yes I am bleeding but anyway uh, I get that off of there and decided 
you know, hey, maybe I'll press it out the other way. Well, I tried to get it off this way again with the um, smoothing out the, the burrs that were on it and the bearing still wouldn't come off of there. So I realized it's going to have to be pressed out. But I turned it around the other way and pressed it out the, uh, the short way. Now on one side of this main shaft that was pretty pitted, so I got it chewed up in the lathe, put a steady rest on there, and decided to polish up the, the pitted side. And it really turned out pretty nice. Um, you still see its pits, but the rust is out of it. And now it's time to give the bath to the inside and now get that baby all cleaned up. So I grabbed the purple power and toothbrush and the WD-40. Well here she is kind of cleaned up. All that oil's out of there. There's the parts, the new parts, the seals, and uh, time to get her painted and put back together. My fellow Americans, Tractor Chat is presidential. Hi, and welcome back to Tractor Chat, the only Tony Award-winning tractor talk show. For those of you who are just tuning in, you've missed an outstanding show. Juliana Huff was here today. Juliana, thank you for stopping in and showing us the do's and don'ts on rebuilding your hydrostatic transmission. Guys, we've got some great news, great news. Due to the ratings, because there was a grown man crying on here, the ratings have shot through the roof. We've been picked up international. Let's take a look at Tractor Chat on the Spanish channel, Telemundo. Senoritas, senoritas, on Tractor Channel. Gracias, gracias. El Telefono. Senorita Bonita. Hola, Chester. Usted es muy macho. Gracias, gracias. ¿Dónde está el libro? Ah. El libro está aquí. Sí, sí. ¿Dónde está el tractor? Ah, sí, sí. El tractor está a key. Gracias. 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 Well, I guess the proof is in the pudding. I guess crying for ratings is worth it. But that's all the time we have today. Thank you for watching Tractor Chat. We'll see you next time. Same tractor time, same tractor channel. Hi, and welcome back to Tractor Chat. Talk on it. Love you too. Would you please pick up some coffee?